we've got uh, 58, well, sorry, 56 degrees on the dashboard. The 10 is relative humidity, but uh, just ignore that for a second. Um, the left hand gauge there is the um, the vent temperature, which is on this sensor, and the the right hand one is um, the sensor under. Under, under here, just for sort of rough cabin temperature. So I'm going to um, switch the car on and uh, fans going. Switch the AC on. Uh, we'll see how we go. I can already feel there's cool air coming out of here. Um, but the actual temperature inside there, as you can see, is starting to cool quite back in here now. I've already got a nice cold uh, air on my face. Now, in fact, I'd be thinking about perhaps turning the AC off <laughs> now because it's getting a bit chilly on the face. So, uh, just let this go a little bit further. So, the system can achieve a uh, vent temperature. In around about 6 degrees it's nice and cold this takes a little bit longer to fall because we we haven't actually, we're down here there's not much airflow. Uh, That's properly cold now. Um, very nice. Total transformation for this car to, you know, to drive around in a, when the sun's beating now. So there we have it. Uh, 9 degrees falling. General cabin temperatures falling now. This is quite a harsh test because there's no real flow of air under the car. The, the condenser's just sat here. There's a fan on it, but we're not getting the, the hot air away. And there's, um, you know, there's no movement of air as we're not moving along. Notice this: all the, the cool air just comes through the standard um, standard vents. There aren't any additional vents, so wherever you've got fresh air, uh, you will now have air conditioned air. So uh, this this panel is just a just a test panel. This will this will all disappear. Just be a single button to switch the system on and off. Seven and a half degrees at the vent. Uh, I tested my um, my modern car and uh, I got you know eight and a half at the vent. So I think this is uh, on a par with that.
Right, so I'll, uh, I'll show you uh, around the, the system now as installed. Uh, it's been. <laughs> So, uh, well, as you can see, there's absolutely nothing in there. Um, no engine compressor. Uh, the engine bay hasn't been touched. Struggling to open that. Oh, so. And there's nothing in here either, really. Um, the uh, carpet, as you can see, is still in place. Um, this looks like there's something here, but in actual fact, there isn't. That's uh, going there. So um, I'll give you a sneak preview, but that's the standard fan, how's all standard controls. Um, Uh, the system fits entirely under here like that, so uh, put your original carpet back. So there we have it, just a quick uh, overview of the um, electric system. Uh, it draws about 40 amps when it's uh, idling. And uh, it's, got, it's got a standard um, SC alternator, 75 amps, so it's about equivalent to having the headlamps and the rear demister on. Um, and we'll be doing some stuff to protect the, uh, the car from draining the battery, so there might be some compromises, we might not be able to operate it with the lights and the demister on, but um, the alternative is to upgrade your alternator. We're looking at 120 amp uh, replacement solution uh, available. So, so there you have it, it's certainly been on a nice um, 6.4 vent temperature, comfortable 22 and a half degrees in the car now. Um, perfect really. So um, okay, well cheers and thanks for watching.